Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Power Rangers, Beast Morphers, Megazord, plus another figure that I and I didn't have from the Lego Marvel mech suit line. And it is the Mighty Thor. We're going to look at each figure's packaging. And then review each item. We're going to do these. Power Rangers Beast Morphers little sticky blind figures. But first we're going to look at the Beast Morpher Wrecker Megazord packaging. Might have to turn on my light for this on my phone. Here we got a nice product shot of the Wrecker Megazord in battle mode. Power Rangers 4 Plus Hasbro Beast Morphers. And I got this from Dollar General for 15 bucks. And there we got a nice product shot of the Wrecker Megazord. And these are the 10-inch Megazords that they had from, from Hasbro. They didn't transform or anything like the regular editions, but they were cheap to get for your collection. I will state that. And that's all there is to say for the packaging for that figure. And now we're going to look at the Wrecker Megazord. Articulation is very particular, but we can put the gun in this hand if you want to. He can go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang with that big jet cannon. Hands can move, no elbows. He can kick back that far, kick forward that far. No ankle tilt because this is a 10 inch figure. So, not a lot of articulation for a 10 inch figure. Hand can move a little bit, like so. Full rotation on this figure, which is nice. But no ball joints. Head is on a swivel, which is nice. And that's not a bad looking Megazord, especially for a Beast Morpher Megazord. It looks wonderful. It looks good. It looked good on my shelf. But now for comparison, we can't show the Wrecker Megazord without showing off the Rangers that pilot it. Here we got the Gold Ranger and the Silver Ranger because, man, I wanted to do that comparison just to show you. And that's all there is to say for the Wrecker Megazord. Let's get down to the Mech Suit Thor, but before that, we're going to look at these. And I've had these for a while, and I put them in a Ziploc bag so I wouldn't lose them. These are the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Stretch Figures. The only one I don't have is the Red Ranger, which is a real shame, but I got most of these. We got the, uh, I think that's supposed to be Roxy or a Tronic. We got a... Tronic right here, which is pretty creepy. We got the uh, Yellow Ranger. And we got bad old Blaze. The only problem is I never got the complete set because it was hard to get the complete set. So they only made four, made about five of these figures. And I only have four out of five. Real, real shame I never got the complete set, which is a real shame, but 
Otherwise, these are cool-looking figures. I'm not going to bother opening them because they don't stick to anything very well. And they're supposed to stick to stuff. That's all there is to say for those figures. Next, we'll be looking at the Mighty Thor. Lego Marvel mech suit. Here we got the box for Lego Marvel Thor mech suit. Looking very intimidating. Comes with a Thor minifigure. And looks good with his hammer. Which I like. And that's all there is to say. For that package in, now let's look at Thor himself. Articulation is very good. He can get a lot of movement out of these ball joints. Have him hold his hammer like this and be like, smash with the hammer. If you want to, you got bend at the knee due to these mix old ball joints, which is nice. And apparently I just popped off the foot, which can happen if you're not careful. You can pop off the foot with these. You get ankle tilt, which is nice. Ball jointed arms, which is nice. And yeah, this is not a bad looking mech suit. You're probably wondering, what does the minifigure look outside the mech suit? Well, we're going to pull him off, remove Milner from the mech suit holding. Holding panel and he's got his little Milner. he's like for asgard with the lightning because he's thor and it's just the limited articulation of a minifigure and that's all there is to say for the minifigure so let's put him back in his mech suit of power so he can kick some big villains butts in mech suit mode and he's like take this Thanos ah, he can bash in Thanos's head if he wanted to with that which is nice now for comparison here is mech suit Thor next to another Avenger Iron Man mech suit Lego Iron Man mech suit and another Lego mech suit that isn't an Avenger from the same wave. It's Spider Spider-Man Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse. Well, I recommend you pick up these figures if you can find them for a good price. Yes, they are worth the money to get that Power Rangers Beast Morphers Wrecker Mega Sword and the Thor mech suit. These make good figures to display, and I just love them. Really good, painted, really well sculpted. I have no nitpicks about these figures. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.